The Backstreet Boys. Moral Technique. Who was that? Moral Technique. Okay, Moral Technique. All right, good. Fine. All right, this is, uh, this is a list of acts. Is that true? It's a list. And let me say this. Um, if time allows for, let's say, five acts to play, how many rosters of five are possible? You guys ready? Here's what's happening. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Can you tell me that first position, right? How many different acts can you put to play first? How many? Well, how many do you have? How many acts do you have here? Eight. So you can choose any one of the eight to play first, right? What about to play second? Why are you going to say seven, Gabby? OK, good. That's a good tip off. Five different acts. But what if it didn't say five different acts? What starts to happen is you're going to have to read into some of this at times, meaning that um, anybody know anything about, anybody ever been to a concert before? OK. Once someone plays, do they play again? So what's happening is this is without replacement, without them ever telling you, right? Isn't this re without replacement? So let's say, let's just note that this is without replacement. Well, how does that make this process easier to determine? How many acts do you have for the second position? Seven, and then the third? Six, five, and what? Four. You guys okay with that? So what is that 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4? What is that value? 6,720? 6,720 6 different rosters of 5. Okay. Yes? Oh, this 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4? 604,000? 800? Okay. Okay, this is an illustration of what's known as the counting principle, fundamental principle of counting. Also known informally as the multiplication rule for counting. All right, you guys okay with that? Let me give you another, another example. How many gender sequences are possible? when having six children. Yes. After five are possible. Should be a question. Or what? Uh, um, time allows for five acts to play, sorry. What does a gender sequence look like if you have six children? Do you guys know? Who can tell me for your first child how many different gender options are possible here? What are they? Boy, RA, what? So for the first child, you can have either a boy or a girl. Is that true? What about for the second child now? Okay. I have a boy or a girl. What about the third? So how many gender sequences are possible or when having six children? You take two to the what power? And what does that give you? So there's 64 different gender sequences that are possible when you have six children. Now I want to point out this to you 
a gender sequence here can be a B, B, G, B, G, G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is counted as one gender sequence, okay? This is one gender sequence. Meaning, your first child's a boy, second one's a boy, third is a girl, fourth is a boy, and then the last two are going to be girls. This is one gender sequence, okay? This is another gender sequence. If you have B, 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 what is this gender sequence? All what? Boys. You could have had G, 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 G. What's this? Okay, or you can say I had G, B, G, B, B, B. First is a girl, second is a boy, third is a girl, fourth a boy, fifth a boy, sixth a boy. These are all distinct, distinct meaning different, gender sequences. How many total sequences are possible when you have six children? 64. There's 64 of these sequences here. Okay? 64 sequences. Do you remember when we did that tree diagram for having three children? What was the N of S for three children? Oh, I'm going to love that, that test coming up. Oh, oh I'm going to really. How many gender sequences were possible when you had three children? Who remembers? Eight. Good. You notice two to the third is eight? Two times two times two. Okay. So we don't have to create that tree diagram here to determine the number possible. All right. Here's the deal. Let's give you some definitions now. When you have what's known as set, when you have this without replacement or repetition not allowed, here we called it without replacement, okay? When you have without replacement, we have two different types of definition. We have the definition of what's known as a permutation and the definition of what's known as a combination. A permutation is an ordered arrangement. An ordered arrangement. A combination is an unordered arrangement. Okay? You have an ordered arrangement and you have an unordered arrangement. These two are key words here. When you think of ordered arrangement, what do you think of? What does it mean that you have an ordered arrangement? It means you actually care about the order. Okay? You guys okay with that? You have an ordered arrangement, you care about the order. If you have an unordered arrangement, meaning it's unordered, you do not care about the order. Okay? So we're going to go through this various examples and settings of combinations of permutations, and let's see whether or not you could determine which is, which is of each type. 